Joshua chapter 6, verse 26. The Bible reads, And Joshua adjured them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that riseth up and buildeth this city Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So he's saying, this city is cursed. You know, they destroyed it. They knocked down the walls of Jericho. I remember they would turn around it seven times. They had that great victory. They destroyed it. And he says, you know what? This city is going to be a curse. And anyone that comes after here and wants to build this city, he's going to pay for it dearly with the price of his children. It says he's going to lay the foundation in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. Two children are going to be lost for whoever decides to come back and rebuild this city. 1 Kings chapter 16. Mind you, now this is going to be very roughly, I didn't, I didn't bother to go through all the timing on this, roughly 500 years later. Very rough estimate, but I mean it's probably more than that. Because you think about the, uh, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, you had Moses and Joshua, right? Joshua helped to conquer and they, they finally got into the land. Then you had the time of the judges, right? Which spanned hundreds of years. And then you get into the point to where we're at here where we're kind of midway through the reigns of the kings in 1 Kings chapter 16. So again, I mean, it's a really, really rough map, but, but it's a long time. Okay? It's a really long time has passed. Uh, 1 Kings 16 verse 34, in his days did he heal the Bethelite, build Jericho. He laid the foundation thereof in Abiram, his firstborn, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua, the son of Nun. Now imagine this. You've got this guy, Hiel, you know, coming in. He's, I'm going to build this city, right? You probably had some people, and I'm, I'm conjecturing, you probably had some people saying, don't do it. You know, that city's cursed, which is why it hasn't been built in the past 500 years, right? No one wants to do it because everyone's fearing the Lord. This guy's saying, whatever, you know, I'm going to build this city. What, you, what the God's going to do something for building a city? You know, like you could, you could probably sense his attitude. And sure enough, we get the names. Hey, Abiram is firstborn. Died when he laid the foundation. And there's probably some accident and, you know, probably still didn't click with them that that was from God. Right, probably explain it because you know the world's gonna explain away all these prophecies that get fulfilled, anyways. Right. I mean, they're gonna find some excuse to say, "Well, that wasn't God." Exactly. There's always a reason to just say, "Oh, God's miracles." Yeah, that's not a miracle. Yeah. And, but then when you get to the second son, right, the youngest one, a lot of people are going, "Wow." Yeah. 